Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a sort of a clean with me video, but it's not going to be like a traditional one. I'm not going to be doing my normal cleaning routine. Instead, I'm going to show you guys some things that I do less often, like some things I might do once a month or once every couple months. Um, just to show you guys something a little bit different. I love doing cleaning videos for you guys, but I feel like they can get boring really quick. So that's what I'm going to do. And then also stay to the end of this video if you want to see my laundry routine and like the products I use for laundry because I wanted to share that with you guys as well. But I didn't want to make that like its own separate video. I thought that would be not enough information for one video. So we're going to clean and then I'll show you guys my laundry routine. I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to clean is the blades on the fans just because they get so dusty and disgusting. So this is probably a hack you guys have already heard of, but just take a pillowcase, preferably one you're going to wash right away. And then we're just going to like wipe it down. I'll show you guys, but also make sure you try to move things out from underneath the fan while you're doing this because some of the like dust bunnies and stuff are still going to fall on the ground and you don't want that to land on like your clean sheets or something on your bed, you know, so just make sure you kind of move things out of the way that you don't want to get dust on. Of course, it's fine if it falls on the floor, just vacuum. But let's do the fans. So this is what we're starting with. I know it looks disgusting and like I haven't done this in forever, but I actually did this about a month ago. So that just goes to show you how dusty it gets here in Vegas. So we gotta clean these bad boys. So as you guys can see, there's still some dust left over, like over here, even after I use the pillowcase. So now I'm just going to take a duster and dust everything else, including like the light and everything in between. So the fan in the living room and the fan in our bedroom are both done now. I only showed you one because I felt like you didn't need to see it twice. And now I'm going to be cleaning the AC vents slash I guess are the heater vents too. So basically just the air vents. I'm going to dust those down too. This is something I always, always forget to do and it's so simple to do. So like I feel like I should just do it more often so it doesn't get so gross. But yeah, I'm just going to take my same duster I used for the fans and dusties as well. are done I told you it's totally a piece of cake that's probably the easiest chore ever and I never do it just because I forget about it so next sticking on the dusting theme I want to go around and dust all of the baseboards I actually got off all like the shoe marks and scuff marks about a month ago or so so they're really not bad they just have dog hair stuck to them everywhere which I'll show you guys for some reason the dog hair like sticks to the ends of the walls and just collects at the baseboards so I'm going to show you guys that and then we're going to take the same trusty duster and just dust all of the baseboards. So as you guys can see there's little dog hairs everywhere so we're just going to dust those away just like that 
and all done. And we're just gonna go around the whole apartment. Alright, so the baseboards are done. That honestly took me maybe three minutes just to walk the whole perimeter and wipe down all of the baseboards that I could get to. It's super simple, super easy, and it makes a huge difference in the appearance of your living space. Like it just looks so much cleaner just because there's not dust on the baseboards, especially if you have pets like dog or cat hair. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you guys that I do is how I deep clean my wood floors. And this is something I used to only do like every three to four months and just with having a dog the floors get dirty so quick that i'm trying to make myself do this once a month at least so i'm going to show you guys how i do that and before i get started i will tell you guys there's three steps to this so the first is to vacuum or sweep whichever you prefer i'm going to vacuum hopefully our vacuum is kind of broken right now and not working the best so if it doesn't work for me i'll do the broom but i prefer to vacuum just to make sure i get every little piece up and then the second step is to steam mop. So I take my steam mop and I go over all of the wood floors just to get any like gunk and crap and also to sanitize. And then that's what I typically do on an every week basis. But then for the deep cleaning portion, the third step that I'm going to do is take our Swiffer wet mop and take those pads and go over the entire floor again just because those do have a little bit of chemicals in them. In them. So I know that they clean better, but I don't like to use those frequently because of that chemical use. So I am going to do that as well. But let me give you a disclaimer. This floor cleaning routine is going to change very soon because I plan on buying like an actual mop this month so that it'll make the process a lot easier and maybe just one step instead of two for like the mopping portion. So let's go ahead and do these floors. Also, this is kind of a bit of a process since you do have to walk your entire wood floors three times. But for me in such a small apartment, it's not that bad. But if you have like a bigger house or a bigger living space, I recommend maybe doing like half one day and half the next day or do like upstairs one day and downstairs the next day or just something like that just to split it up because it does take a lot of time. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> laundry routine and I'm sorry if you hear noises in the background I have the windows open because it's beautiful outside but there's like kids playing on their bikes and stuff so if you hear some noises I'm sorry so for today's example I'm gonna be doing our sheets just because they need to be done and our clothes are done already for the week so obviously I just throw everything in our washer and dryer are tiny because we're in an apartment so this is just what they give you 
It's very small. Usually our clothes for the week is like three to four loads. And then we have to do our towels and then our sheets. So like we're using this thing all day long on Saturday or Sunday. So anyways, so for our products, we are trying really hard to switch to safer, healthier, more organic products for cleaning, for laundry, just for everything in general. So for laundry, we recently started using the Method Concentrated Laundry Detergent, and we've been loving it. We already went through a bottle of the blue scent, which I forget what it was, but it smelled great. This is the Beach Sage one. And then we also have the Ginger Mango one, which I used one time just to try it. I opened it and it smells amazing. But these are so good because it looks like a tiny bottle, but it's concentrated. So you don't even use this whole cap. You use like half of this cap full and it does an entire load of laundry. So you get a lot of use out of this and they smell so good. They're also like better for the earth. They're biodegradable and everything. So really, really love this stuff. It's also hypoallergenic. So like it's really good for me with like allergies and like for the dog and stuff. I just feel like I feel safe washing his sweaters and his blankets in this stuff and I also want to say that Method is a safe brand it's one of my favorite all-time brands and I buy mine from Grove Collaborative which is a website where you can get lots of organic safe cleaning products and other things like that so I just wanted to mention really quick if you use my link down below for Grove Collaborative and you spend um, a minimum of $20 on anything you want if you want to try laundry products cleaning products whatever you want to try then you will get a five set Mrs. Myers gift set for free did I say five set? I meant to say five peas. You'll get a five piece Mrs. Myers gift set absolutely free with that $20 purchase if you're a first time member on Grove Collaborative using my link. So I don't want to get it too far into it, but just check out the link just to see what's up. And then if you spend $40 instead of $20, you're going to get another free gift on top of that. So just go ahead and check it out and definitely check out Method Laundry Products if you're looking to switch your laundry over. So, I'm going to fill this cap just to the line. Just like that. Throw that in. And then for our softener right now, we haven't switched over quite yet just because we buy our laundry stuff in bulk because it ends up being cheaper that way. So we're still using this Downy Free and Gentle, but this also is a little bit safer just because it's free of dyes and perfumes and it's dermatologist tested, so it's not really going to affect allergies and things like that. This is not on Grove Collaborative. I don't really recommend it, um, but we are going to switch over to the Method Softener once we run out of this. So I put that in there. I use a little bit extra on our sheets just so that they're really soft and cozy. Okay, so for the dryer, I just put everything in here. You can't see it because it's a weird angle in this tiny hallway, but I have our towels in here that I just washed. And right now we are using these bounce dryer sheets. We bought so many of these and I'm so sick of them. I can't wait to be done with this box. After this, we're going to switch over to the dryer balls, though, which are also found on Growth Collaborative. So much better for the environment because you're not throwing away one of these with every single load of laundry. They're little balls made of wool or something. I'm not quite sure what they're made out of, but they're little balls that you can throw in the dryer. It cuts down your drying time. They're reusable. You can put essential oils on them to make your clothes smell good and stuff, and it's just like such a better idea because you get like three balls in a package it'll probably last you a year or longer so that's what we're going to be switching to but for now we are using the bounce dryer sheets and they work good they make your clothes smell good they make them static free so i throw one of these bad boys in there and i start the dryer that is it for today's video i hope it was helpful to you guys whether it was the cleaning aspect or the laundry aspect and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any recommendations or requests for other videos, please let me know. I'm trying to put out more content that you guys want that I also enjoy. So shoot me any ideas if you have any requests. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.